There was lots of little things throughout the match that we're not doing consistently well enough. Um, there's some genuine fight there, which is pleasing. So the group really cares. We've just got to, I guess, learn to be much more consistent uh, throughout the game. But, um, yeah, it's always a hard one to swallow when you get so close. And it was, it was nine points in it, and I guess a few forward forays that might have gone our way on another day. Uh, but it was, as you said, it was a great fight back by the boys, 7-3 to three in the last quarter. Yeah, really good fight back. But I guess the, the learning's in, probably the things we're not doing well. So... To their credit, they're really measured about how they're reviewing their games. They're not, um, they're not delusional about things that um, are costing us matches. We've got some discipline issues as well, which we're trying to address, um, both structurally and in terms of just giving away some soft free kicks. So I think we're making progress. I really do. I think we're just going through a period now where we're, I guess, trying to um, understand the expectations from one another. We've got a new group, and the, and the playing group's changed a lot since round one when we played Geelong. So you keep throwing different uh, mixes and elements into it. Um, I think uh, considering all that, there's, um, there's always plenty to take away from these sort of games. And you said plenty to take away from the game, and I guess you can focus on the negatives in the first three quarters, but what really pleased you from, from that game? Just the fight. Just the fight to, you know, maybe in years gone by, that sort of five-goal margin at half-time turns into a 10 or 12-goal loss. I'm not sure, but I guess from a coaching perspective, to be able to put it onto the players, um, talk about the way we want to play and get ourselves back into the game, they're really compliant with that uh, for the most part. I thought our captain stood up enormously well. Um, I think he's been a, a revelation in some ways in terms of leading the group. And Benny Casley coming in for his first game was really good for the ball for us. Um, and there's others as well. You know, we just sort of, I guess we're just lacking that consistency across the board for four quarters. But the fight's pleasing and that's an important component and that's there. So um, we can build off that. And playing Hish, I'm Kabaddi, I went, went into the middle late on and really showed some positive signs. Yeah, he did. Look, we've used Hish through the midfield um, in, our, in all of our matches so far. and He's not a genuine mid, but he's someone that can go in and finds the ball really well. Um, so we're excited about his progress. He's got some areas of his game that he's working really hard on as well. So um, he's really invested in our program. And as a footy club, we're trying to develop him as quickly as we can. Jamo one hurts us. There seems to be one every week where we, we sort of playing one short or two short. So that just comes down to luck. He uh, obviously a concussion and couldn't take any further part in the game, but there's no doubt structurally you have to adjust from that. Um, and he's a fairly significant loss given his presence amongst the group. So hopefully he's uh, going to get a speedy recovery under his belt and um, we look forward to seeing him back out there soon. I think what was really heartening as well was there were 13 Northern Blues listed boys out there today and they really jolted well with the, with the Carlton boys and really stood up when it, when it counted. Yeah, there's no doubt, mate. We're building um, in the right direction and I know... In terms of results, we can get wound up in that pretty easily. Um, and certainly as a coach, I am. It's disappointing. But when we take the measured approach, there's some really positive things happening. Um, we've just got to stay the course and make sure that we keep coaching the boys hard. They keep holding each other accountable to the expectations and standards. And uh, I'm really confident that this group can turn things around quickly. We haven't been blown out of the water yet. Um, as I said, the fight's there. Um, just a little bit more consistency. As I said, we stood here last week talking about lamenting a lack of four-quarter effort or four-quarter four performance. Was that the goal for Casey again next week? Oh, it always is, and I think that's utopia in terms of football. You want to strive for that consistency, but I guess it's more when the momentum's against us, being able to wrestle that back to a, a stalemate and then get your systems back in place. So we're just learning to deal with that a little bit. And um, as you mentioned, the personnel's rotating a fair bit, particularly the last two weeks. So it's really good education and good learning for those guys coming in. Josh, thanks for your time. Best of luck next week. Thanks, mate. Appreciate it.